think that I've been sitting in this room for a little over two years now, listening to every progressive author that hits our streets. Just sleep and eat? <laughs> not much, not much. And they all fall, uh, follow a pattern that you have as well. You did an excellent job in chronicling the shortcomings of not only our government, but I think uh, our society and culture as a whole. And like every other progressive writer, your solution is to become more active to, in your case, your particular emphasis on commerce. Well, everybody has a particular uh, methodology of, of trying to uh, regain our country. But it isn't working. You said we had a coup a year ago. I submit we had a coup uh, nine years ago, 10 years ago. It didn't wake up the American public then. That is what I said. I did agree with you. And it isn't waking up the public now. And here in this room, we all meet and we all agree with you, whatever writer is on the podium, and we go out a little more enthusiastic. But the point is that we are the point of the progressive sphere, and we can't remotely put a dent or even a scratch Bullshit, into the bullshit, <laughs> bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> Listen, after here. Barack Obama has done this, and he has completely sold us out, I wish you could convince me I don't believe you. What in the world did you expect him to do? If you expected him to do anything different from what he has done, you have not been paying attention for decades. I did expect him to be a total corporate whore. I did. Well, well you have to have better insight than that. Well, I, I don't think so. I don't think it took a lot of genius. I think it took looking straightforwardly at who he was and who the, what the system is that he was being inserted into. And I think that pointing out where we've failed and where we need to push harder and strategies that aren't working and strategies that might work better. We have to do that, even if it's ugly, even if it's painful, even if it's discouraging to say, hey, that's not working. But to sit here and tell people you cannot succeed, you cannot do it, we're failing, that's let's not what stop I said because it's no, not no, working. No, that's not what I said at all. No, what I'm saying is that our strategies aren't working. I think it's demonstrable. We cannot get a tipping point to really make an influence now with the corporate uh, influence of Congress. So therefore, my solution is, and this is my final part of the question, I think we, other than just saying get active, we have to take it at the next step. Would you please consider, if you haven't already, your next book to be a how-to manual to take to the streets to save our country? Did you read this one? I would encourage you to do two things. Read the book, which is to the best attempt I could make, a how-to manual for how to take back the country, not just in the streets, but in the offices, in the front doorways of their homes, and everywhere that we can put a wrench into this murderous system. Uh, but secondly, and more importantly, and then we're going to take, uh, I think there was one more question, I'll be glad to talk with you for hours afterwards, but I'm going to sign books. Uh, secondly, understand the difference between the intellectual analysis of what's working and what's not working and the moral responsibility not to cough defeatism on your brothers and sisters sitting around you in a room. It is not morally wise. It has nothing to do with your, your correct understanding and analysis of what's been happening. It, it, is, it is a moral failure to do it because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It encourages others to think they can't succeed, and they damn well can. Uh, and I'd love to talk with you afterwards, That's but we're not going to take... That's not my opinion. That's my question. Okay, I'm glad to hear it. Did it uh, I'm just going to follow up with my comment here. Um, in just another route, another way to ask that question. What system... I, I also concur that this system is broke. What do you envision as a system that would actually work? Matter of fact, I've, I've written a book about that, uh, and, and maybe we should read it. Uh, my website is davidswanson.org. My email is there. My phone number is there. I would love to hear what you think uh, about it. Um, I, I mentioned very briefly that we don't actually have to invent a system that works because Europe has one. Um, 
but I, I'd love to talk with you about any aspect of, of the system, but I, I don't know how to how to do it in, in one minute. This is this is gonna be the very last question right here. Thank you. It's it's related. Uh, thank you for leading up because uh, my my question is how you do it. Not just I'm not looking for how to in this world. I I I'm amazed that people like you and Kucinich um, they give me this inspiration to keep moving on. I tend to look at things cynically. I kind of think that maybe the tipping point is so major, like global warming taking us down and the economy taking us down to this point. At the same time, I fight because it gives me purpose of my life on Earth. And when I listen to Kucinich, Dennis Kucinich, I, I, just, I just want to know how you do it, how you keep this attitude that Barbara was saying is, is this for me? Dennis is older than I am, and I can't keep up with him. Uh, and he would tell you uh, that it's being a vegan. Uh, so, uh, that's, so that's one answer. Um, uh, my answer is that, like Dennis, I get paid for what I do. I don't have to do it all on weekends and evenings, as some people do, who do more than I do, uh, incredibly enough. Um, and I enjoy it, and I can't imagine what the point would be of living doing anything other than what I think morally most needs to be done. And there are medical studies that will show you that it is good for your health to engage in this struggle. Uh, and it is bad for you not to. Uh, it has absolutely nothing to do with whether you're about to win next Thursday or not. Uh, and Joe, so Joe said you have to laugh. You do have to laugh, and Joe will help you do it. Uh, and, and thank you all for being here. I'd love to talk with you.